Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, wanted to give you guys a quick update. This is what I'm going to call the state of the union for the channel or the state of the channel. Uh, basically, in March of 2021, I joined YouTube with the intent of creating a channel to showcase basically my hobby of opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards and a place to share it, share the hobby of collecting. And it's been a great experience thus far. And I am obviously enjoying it. And I want to continue doing that. And I want to open more cards, open more packs. Uh, I am not in a position where I can open boxes every single day. Uh, like some of the other creators, obviously. I enjoy watching Ruxin's video. So, uh, I think they're very good. Uh, I enjoy the content he puts out. Um, and, and Ruxin puts out, you know, obviously does a lot of openings. It's his full-time job. That is not the case for me. And maybe one day, uh, I'll be able to open a lot of, uh, boxes every single day. Not the position where I am in, but I, I want to increase kind of my consistency of at least doing something and also kind of satiate, uh, the hobby for myself, uh, wherein I can open, uh, more product more frequently and share with you guys kind of the enjoyment um, and get to get to do more. And so my solution for that was to, over the past few months and uh, kind of in between product releases and everything, to acquire blister packs of a lot of sets, kind of as I've been going to Walmart, Target, things, etc., uh, to build up a supply to be able to do shorts, uh, to kind of fill that gap. So I could open a pack here and there uh, upload it, you know, kind of fill that void of, hey, I enjoy doing this, but I can't open a full booster set every day. So wanted to give you guys that update, let you know that's kind of what I'm looking at. I don't know if I'm going to call it like pack a day challenge or something, but it's to increase my, my consistency, kind of do it obviously with YouTube, kind of the whole content thing and content creation. Consistency is key. I know that, but it's more so being able to do it, have a consistent kind of sharing it and so it's not like a demand of i have to have sets and boxes and everything and when when necessarily there is not a set or box available to open there's no product that's being released yet old stuff is kind of harder to come by um, and this is not my full-time job kind of thing so i wanted to give you an update there uh let you know to be on the lookout for those it's a little bit different from what i generally do and create um, but then also give you an update let you know that is coming down the pipeline uh, at the start of this week. I believe uh, March 4th uh, is when I'm going to be starting uploading those. Uh, that's a Monday. I don't know what date on the calendar it is. It's the first Monday in March. Tell uh, <laughs> so us nobody knows what calendars say. Uh, so give you an update there. And then also let you know kind of some products and stuff. I, I do have um, a first edition Chaos Impact box that I am gonna be opening uh, in terms of long form stuff. So I'm not stopping long form. Uh, as new sets come out, I will be opening those. I do also do have the Legendary Collection 2 box to open at some point as well. I did skip over the Battles of Legend Chapter 1. Project was not exciting enough, kind of in my opinion. Nothing really stood out uh, from a collector standpoint. I think it's a great reprint set, but nothing that I wanna chase from a collection standpoint. Now, to give you a preview of what exactly I have been doing over <laughs> the past few months, when I say I've been collecting boosters um, from blister packs, this is what I mean. Um, this box, right, it's about this deep and it's packed full of just, you know, blisters from various sets. We got some Darkwing Blast, Valiant Smashers on the top, Ancient Guardians. Uh, there's a lot of pot down there. Uh, I know that. There's hidden arsenal. That right there. This is a hidden arsenal. Steel Storm Invasion is in there somewhere. Uh, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. We got a Phantom Rage pack there. Uh, uh, there's Duelist Nexus. We got Rise of the Duelist up here. Darkwing Blast. I think I said that already. A lot of just random stuff. Cyberstorm Access. Uh, Dimension Force, you literally just whatever blister packs I could find, you know, coming off of stores and everything. Lots of King's Court. So we got Dimension Force, Patient of Chaos. There's a 2017 pack. 
of that. Um, just, you know, like I said, I, I mean, the box is, is cool at this point. Um, so I, I, I've got quite a bit just in here ready to go uh, to start this adventure and this journey. Be on the lookout for that. Like I said, state of the union, state of the channel. But look out on shorts. We'll open these. We'll make our way through these over the next however long it takes. And I'm going to keep replenishing it. And what I'm going to do is list the pack, figure out what the best card is in each pack, keep a spreadsheet tally, and then we'll call it the pack a day until I get a silver play button challenge. And then keep moving the goalpost uh, as things go on. Chaos Impact, going to try to get the Starlight Mascarena at some point uh that'll be one of the long form videos when we have a lull in the uh in the release of good content so i'll catch you guys in a few weeks uh on the next set release and then also for the chaos impact but you guys will see shorts uh for all of these fantastic uh packs uh, so a lot of good stuff here catch you later see ya